evening full of entertainment, food and fun tricked off at the party lawns at Siddharth de Goa with North Indian dance performance. Right now I'm with Mr. Anil Counter at the lovely dinner. So, how are you enjoying the party? And you are one of the core organizers, so it is. It is just fantastic the way it is going on. I never expected the way it is going on. All, all Hindu, Catholics, everybody has enjoyed. Everybody participated. And the most important thing, the fusion that has taken place. You must have seen fusion at the music level, fusion at the dance level. It was a treat to hear the melodious voice of Sonia Sirsat singing Fathers with intense emotion and it couldn't get better with Indian dance being performed on Western music. A beautiful fusion indeed. I have with me Mr. Zilvan and Mr. Abdul Timlo and sir can you tell me how exactly is the mood of the party and you all have set the party going, you all have set the ball rolling to have this kind of thing in Goa so what do you feel about it? 
See, there is an insight in all this, uh, uh, all this event. And my guru is Mr. Tim Law, Mr. Audut Tim Law. Uh, basically, he has been the the alma mater to keep the culture going. Alfama is a good setting, which he started not to mean that. Uh, I, I don't look at Alfama as something which uh, would mean Portugal, but I look something that Alfama means uh, good, good food, good growth for tourism, and it is a rep uh, so therefore uh, he has a place here. So we requested him. Let's have it here. The cast here is Fontainhas and Alfama. We can't recite from the from the fact that we have a blend of uh, our cuisine is a blend of Portuguese culture inherited from years. Most of us were not lovers of uh, the regime, but we were lovers of the good people, good culture, good habits, a good harmony which they created. I wouldn't say that the Britishers divided, divided and ruled, but the Portuguese kept us together. Sir, you have always tried to bring together Portuguese culture, as Mr. Zilban Sester said, and in your hotel, the Alfama restaurant as well. What would be your next step? Because this step was a successful platform for you and for everybody to come together, to intermingle with the Portuguese and Goan culture. So what would be your next step? I would say that each one of us must remember the last 500 years to start with, and even beyond 500 years, but the particular last 500 years, which has a lot of uh, skirmish, turbulence here and there but at the end of the day Goa is unique and we need to keep it that way thank you and uh, being a Portuguese colony we did not like the Portuguese regime but what is the one thing that the Portuguese taught you or that you keep close to your heart first of all I don't know whether we were a Portuguese colony uh, I also don't uh, subscribe to that uh, I think after Cinco de Outubro 1910 Goa was such a vibrant place in secularism and and as a part and parcel of global Portugal that we should not forget the 50 years before liberation uh, and um, so I, I don't think that uh, we should oppose uh, the Portuguese uh, uh, intercultural interadministrative um, um, Goa that we had and when history is written some years from now looking back after all the uh, dust of propaganda is, is, is settles down uh, we would say the golden period was from 1910 to 1961 we've had very good period after that and thanks to the 1967 opinion poll we didn't get merged into Maharashtra thanks to that also. And Goans have decided wisely at each time. And what do you like better? Do you like Portuguese food or do you like the fado? Definitely both. No, you have to choose one. You cannot separate one without the other. It's uh, like okay. saying, do I, do I like wine or do I like food? Food without wine would not be the same and wine without food will not be the same. So I subscribe to what he said, let's now take this Goa of fusion into Portugal. Separating Goa and Portugal in terms of boundaries and demographics is possible. But when it comes to art and culture, even Fado and Indian music belong to each other. Oh,
hope you've been enjoying the function today. It's the end of the Semana de Cultura, the entire function which connects Goa and Portuguese. I think it's perfect, very well organized, and everything is, how can we say in um, Portuguese, it's very, it's a not very a fashionable night. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, because the mix, even the songs, when the Fado and the other group, for me it was perfect, because I could not imagine that this could match, you know? How have you been enjoying the evening, mixing around with Goans and Portuguese? So. How do you feel that the culture of Portuguese still thrives in Goa? Yes, I think we have a lot of roots here and I feel at home here. It's difficult to say, to explain, but it's, I feel home because everybody is so friendly and we think that we have a lot of, co of things in common, you know? Because I think you are very, fr they are, you are very friendly. It's a, a characteristic also of the Portuguese. And everything was perfect for me. Yeah. Okay, and have you tasted the food and which was your best dish so far? Can you eat something? Can yes, you... biryani. Okay, you like the biryani? Yes, the biryani and the... Uh... I thought you would recommend something in Portuguese, the, a Portuguese dish. Portuguese dish? Dish tonight, yeah. bacalhau a lagareiro. Okay, and what is that? It's a it's codfish? A codfish, only with olive oil, garlic and onion. onions. It's, it's not bacalhau a brash. No, 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 it's much more simple. It's only bacalhau, codfish, sorry. It must be a very good codfish with garlic, onions, olive oil, onion, and uh, oh, oven. Perfect. You should try it. Okay. Thank you so much. Enjoy the evening. Thank you very much also.